this is Kevin for Pixiver.com. In this video, we are looking at smart objects in Photoshop. Now, smart objects are a way of containing images inside an object that can't directly be edited. And it's a way of protecting an image whilst you are working with it. I've got two images here. It's the same image and one I'm going to treat as the normal and the other one I'm going to treat as the smart object. So with the smart object I'm going to right click on the layer and convert to smart object. Now once I do that I can't edit this layer anymore. I can however edit the other layer which is this guy here so that's not a problem but when it comes to transforming them and resizing them the smart object has a huge advantage. Let's resize the normal layer. I'm going to do a free transform and then I'm going to redo the free transform and back to normal size. You can see we lose a lot of resolution in the normal layer but with the smart object if we do a free transform I can resize it and then resize it a second time. You can see that the smart object retains its original resolution. So that's basically the huge advantage with smart objects. You can work with them several times and they don't actually change the underlying image. The data that draws this picture isn't changed in any way. Um, you have this disadvantage that you can't directly edit them, but if you double click, you can do edits on the smart object and then save. So that's basically the advantage of using smart objects. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye.